We are We're Rabbit Lightning. Lightning. I'm Red Rabbit Claw Moonshine, and this is Lon Lightning. I'm Lon Lightning. No, that is not my real name, this, but that's the name that we took whenever we started touring. You're not supposed to tell them it's a, it's a stage name. The tweets have been blowing up asking us to write, write a song, I don't, how, let, how to write a love song. I don't care about your tweeter, and I don't want to hear any more about it. I believe in real connections with real people. I like to make physical contact with my fans. And sometimes that's just brushing up next to them. Sometimes it's a handshake. Sometimes it's more. I've been living out of a car for the past three months. So let's just talk about a few things that we love. I love uh, women from a distance. I'm not currently dating anyone. I am married to Little Rabbit. I write a lot of songs about a lot of women, but, but Little Rabbit knows that they're all about her ultimately. You're singing about your wife. Little Rabbit. But I think if you're writing a song about a woman, it's almost best to think about something other than a woman that you love and then write about it and give it a, a, the, the name of a woman. It should like be a an ball, object. Like a bouncy ball or... What's something that you own that you love? A yo-yo. I like yo-yos. It goes away and it comes back just like a, a woman. There was a time I held you in the palm of my hand. Like a yo-yo and a woman. Yeah. And then what? I got another yo-yo. Multiple yo-yos. We could do a whole album about polygamous love songs and we would sell like hotcakes. Something about you saying that, staring at me directly makes me uncomfortable. I can probably rock a baby. I gotta see the words, man. You can't rock a baby. Rock a baby. You do that in the the music video, but don't do that in the lesson. My stepson's really good with the yo-yo. He's got his own YouTube channel. It's called Ho Yo Yo Yoed Up. What's his name again? Tyrone. Oh, what if I did that? You you can't do two things at once, man. You can't do one thing at once. Mm -hmm. What about all them times that I was the one driving the tour bus and drinking the big gulp? That's not multitasking, man. That's just enjoying yourself. Then we started playing tricks Unmistakable We were walking the dog and then all of a sudden we were rocking the baby Winding it up and letting it loose People thought we were crazy And maybe we were Take me back, honey I'll pay the alimony and I'll take you into my house and I'll make you my own. I've been keeping this in my desk thinking about you every day. I know you want to come back home and make this right and get married again for the third time. And well, but I'm you, willing to do that. But you're not supposed to make her feel like a yo-yo. Hey, y'all, I'm Red Rabbit Claw Moonshine and this is Lon I'm Lightning. I'm Lon Lightning. We're, We're Rabbit, Rabbit Lightning. Lightning. As we know, all love ends in sadness. The happiest I've ever been is at Six Flags over Georgia when the roller coaster got stuck. I was on it by myself and it got stuck at the top of a loop. And I've got that disorder where I get a euphoric feeling when I'm upside down. There's something about the blood that rushes to my head. I it, sleep upside down. It's a down. sad song. And they left me for dead. And they left me for dead. They left me for dead. One of the things that makes me happiest in my life is dogs. I had a puppy once and I called him D.O.G. Because it was written on his house, D.O.G. Spelled dog. That's great. I actually ran over D.O.G. Poor dog. Started sterile. Ended up with three legs. What if we just made some really lonesome sounds? No. The teeth sink into your neck. You are becoming the undead. Write that before I forget it. Once I acquired a sterile dog. He was fluffy. He just needed a home. But I happened to run over him in my truck on the way to get a soft serve ice cream cone. Sometimes the night gives you women, and these women turn out to be cannibals, and then you yell, help us! I am Lon Lightning. And I am Red Rabbit Claw. And we are... Moon... Well, you don't let me say my last name. It's a stage name, but I usually don't disclose that. But I feel like these people are like family. I'm Lon Lightning. And I'm Red Rabbit Claw Moonshine. And we we are are Rabbit Rabbit Lightning. Lightning. A lot of people are probably wondering where Rhett and Link are. I believe that one of us is related to them. Are you? One of us? 
I will say that I've never actually set the whole episode because, I, I mean, 10 minutes on the internet seems like a waste of time. We move and shake so much. We so, cannot not move or shake. But sometimes Red or Link will send us a little tidbit from one of these things. A hyperlink. And I'll watch a little bit. Of, I'll be and like, then you tune out. I'm like, I got the idea. And then I'm on to the next thing. Now, you may, not you, but they, I didn't mean to touch your bicep. Please don't do that ever again. You may know us from our debut album, which was also called Rabbit Lightning. There was a big controversy over that, over if we should self-title the album. A teenager needs to hear something approximately 19 times before they understand it. Well, tell that to Tyrone. He doesn't even speak to me anymore. Yes. You may know our second album, Saddlesore, which went multi-platinum. And by that, I mean that we made it out of many layers of platinum. That's okay. a joke. We sold it out of the trunk of my car. Yeah, actually, we, we're not on iTunes yet, but we plan to be. And at that point, I believe it'll be a breakthrough for us. Last summer, we spent a good month at Dollywood. We paid for one day. We paid for one ticket. Can I tell you the story? You under here. We found a little crevasse near the Eagles enclosure and found that you could cover yourself in pine straw at night. And then when the park opened, you just sort of get up and brush your pine straw off. And we inhabited Dollywood for one month. Here's a good joke. Did you not think there'd be a huge crevasse at Dollywood? <laughs> think about it. I understand. I get that. And I like it. I approve of that. And she is a country western icon, so we follow closely in her footsteps. And there's room enough for two theme parks, Our second one being ours. Rabbit Lightning Land. It has a rabbit part, and it has the lightning part. And of course, Rhett, this, his name is Rabbit, and my last name is Lightning. Okay, tell me, tell me about your... Your side of the park. There will be a lot of rabbits. I've done some research. If I get one pair of rabbits and I give them the right breeding circumstances, actually, after approximately seven months, I will have about 22,000 rabbits. The kids can pet the rabbits and the parents can wring the necks of the rabbits. And we have a cook on site who will make a stew or a... Uh, you know, a ceviche or something like that out of, <laughs> out of your rabbits. You know, if me and Mama had stayed together, our second child was going to be named Ceviche. Didn't come to fruition. Now, when I was growing up with Rabbit, we would go into the cow pasture and we'd have lots of fun with the cows, just chasing them, just chasing them. But to get in, there's an electric fence and there's a, there's a myth that if you pee on the electric fence, well, it will jolt you. That's not a myth. You should pee on an electric fence and get a little taste of the lightning. And then if forever how long you can go, you get a monetary reward. Well, you want your rabbits to die. There's got to be some form of population control. I'm going to have not just ra I'm going to have every animal but a rabbit. And if you ride the animal, you get to keep it. If you can ride the animal, you can keep it. Did you understand? What does that have to do with lightning? Nothing. I don't feel like you've really thought this through. Something... Listen, Mr. Thousands of Rabbits, you can take home a dangerous animal if you can subdue it. This is my favorite part. You spin this. Oh, well, I was going to spin this way and you nearly cut my finger off. Yeah. You want me to kiss it? Are you whining? Rhett turns into a werewolf. Rhett's not here. I could turn into a werewolf, man. Look at this, man. Something weird's happening on the surface of my hands. So you're a what? A werewolf. If I ride you, then I can take you home. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Um, if you're gonna could you just clo clo <laughs> close yourself there. <laughs> so I thought this was an opportunity to teach children about the reproduction process. Because that's how my daddy taught me. Two dogs. Really? Two dogs what? Well, at the time I had no idea. I thought it was wrestling. I what would, were they doing? I would later learn that they were mating. What do you mean by that? Do, you want me to draw you a picture? I think you understand what mating is. But basically what he did is he put me in, the, in an enclosed backyard with a male and a female dog. He was like, stay out there until it gets weird. And uh, <sighs> I, I knew exactly what he meant by that about four hours later. Thank you, Dad, wherever you are. I learned about the birds and the bees, ironically enough, through birds and bees. Now you get stung a lot, but... Uh, but I don't understand. Is it the bee stinging the bird? I mean, because I've never seen that. That doesn't happen in the wild. Yes, it does. The bee stings the bird in flight. And Have the, you ever seen two planes refuel? But the bird doesn't get pregnant. I'd say in the times that I've watched Discovery Channel, History Channel, I've seen planes refuel probably at but least not, twice. But not in person. Not nope. in person, no.
then how are you how are you to question me? <laughs> Hi, I'm Red Rabbit Claw Moonshine. And I'm Lon Lightning. And we are Rabbit, Rabbit Lightning. Lightning. They say a picture's worth a thousand words, and a video is thousands of pictures I've heard, so you do the math. Listen while you watch and watch while you listen. If you've never seen a music video, then you don't know what you've been missing. Watch it while you listen. Man, that looks good. That looks real good. Thank you. I'm fully ready. I'm Lon Lightning. And I'm Red Rabbit Claw Moonshine. And we are Rabbit, Rabbit Lightning. Lightning. I've crushed cans. And I've crushed gravel. And I've crushed gravel. And I've crushed grandma's leg. In the door in the... of a Cadillac. Yeah. True story. Yeah. I, she still walks with a limp, but she says she learned a valuable lesson that day to get those feet in the car. I'd like to crush you. No. Under the weight of my love, I'd like to hug you with the gentle caress of a dove. Got Bring it. an animal into it. You know how when a dove flies up against you, it caresses It is you. gentle. You know how it is when you got a crush on somebody and you just want to be near them, and then if you accidentally run into them a little bit, if you accidentally run into them a little bit, it's electric. What if we bring them together and we do an electric dove? Electric Which, dove. Which, incidentally, was the first name of this band. I remember that. If you want a relationship to last, you got to tell a secret right off the bat. I'd show you my picks. collection of Civil War prosthetics, because I do have that. I drunk a beverage with crushed ice, and it was nice. But not nearly as nice as what one night with you might be like. I'd like to crush you under the weight of my Brushing up against you is like touching an electric dove. I'd show you my collection of Civil War prosthetics. And tell you a secret and never regret it. Like I've got a subdermal arm that the doctors can't explain. I think you might regret that. I take your hand and place it in mine, not the subdermal one, but the one outside, and then give you a manicure, and grab the other hand, and start the process over again. I'd like to bulldoze the barriers between your heart and mine. I'd like to backhoe a ditch, but call the gas company ahead of time. And by call the gas company, I mean call you, yeah. What's your number? You can put it in my cellular telephone. You've practiced? Sure. Yeah. Okay. I hate opera and soccer and beach pleated docker and wearing a shirt in a store. Ooh. I hate meals without meat, and I don't know what kale's even for. <laughs> Is it a fabric? I think it might be a fabric. <laughs> I hate subtitled movies and going on Judge Judy. I've been on that show 18 times. <laughs> I hate art, dance, and reading, and I especially hate when songs rhyme. Dang it. <laughs> I hate seatbelts. Yeah. <laughs> I hate flu shots, but I also hate the flu. Amen. That's the truth. Who doesn't hate the flu, right? <laughs> Can I do a mouth solo? I just did. Yeah. Uh, I could do a mouth trumpet. Ooh, that's even better. I love you. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you for being here with us, and apologies to the shirt, salad, and seatbelt industry. That was pretty great, That huh? was pretty great. I, I think you should come to Nashville. You'd fit in. All right. Yeah, what's maybe your, minus the mullet. What's your couch like? <laughs> Cushiony. When it comes to fireworks, they don't hire professionals. They are professionals. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Outside of the South, do not have any clue what barbecue is. This, this song actually takes people through all the types of bona fide barbecue that there are across the South. It's educational. You can get some credits. Kids, you can get credits for this, just being here. What's a credit? I'm not sure. I heard somebody say it on TV. <laughs> They like the smoky sauce, but over there in old Memphis, I drive run ribbons balls. And when my life is through, bury me in barbecue, but make sure it's vinegar based, cause you know that slows the game, and this is out from our home state. Of North Carolina, Hello. and down in Florida. Is Florida a southern state? Here in South Carolina, we do things different. When it comes to fireworks, we don't hire professionals. We are professionals. We this song is for all our pyrotechnical heroes. What they lacked in discretion, they made up in combustion. The ones who lit the fuse and wound up dead, injured, or lame. We salute you, the fallen founding fathers of the Freelance Fireworks Hall of Fame. Go girls. Best thing about being a woman is the prerogative to have a little fun. To give them a lady, men shirt, shirt, shirt. I want to be free and I feel the way I feel. Man, I feel like a woman. Actually, I feel like I'm about to suffocate. I feel great. Play me mountain music. Oh, play me mountain music. It's Ring of Fire. Talk about a ring of fire. I did that one chip challenge. Yeah? I wish somebody had told me not to stick it up your ear. Jolene, Jolene. Please don't take him just because you're tan. Is that what it says, tan? Yes, yeah, she's a sunburnt woman. Sexy, so I like them. How do you sing that high? I only have one testicle. Oh, right, I forget about that. And that sometimes. one, I'm constantly squeezing in between my thighs right. when I sing. Yep, like a melon just squeezing out the high note. Squeezing my balls so yeah. I can sing well, really high. Your ball. Yeah. I saw a camel in Texas once at a petting zoo. You could milk it. Oh, what's camel milk like? thick and full of fat. I can feel you breathe. No, that, Wash it please. over me. Can we just, can you not sing it and we just listen to Faith Hill breathe? Hey, but nothing comes out when they move their lips. Just a bunch of gibberish. The mother act like they forgot about Dre. Are you okay? I'm a little angry. <laughs> Sometimes your eyeballs need to be involved. When your ears are listening to a song and music videos are made for that. You better watch them while you can before the earth goes dark. Or you're murdered in your sleep by a woman who's upset about unpaid child support. 